members of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believe that the Book of Mormon is Scripture. Like the Holy Bible, it's a sacred record of God's words and actions. It is another testament of Jesus Christ. Many people know about the Bible, but where did the Book of Mormon come from, and how did we get it? The Book of Mormon came to us through a series of miraculous events. In 1820, a 14-year-old young man named Joseph Smith prayed to know which church he should join. In response, Joseph was visited by God and Jesus Christ, similar to the heavenly visitations recorded in the Bible. God called Joseph Smith to be his prophet on the earth. A few years later, an angel named Moroni also visited Joseph Smith. Moroni told Joseph Smith about an ancient record buried in a hill near Joseph's house. The record contained the writings of prophets who lived in the Americas, centuries earlier. Moroni knew this because he had been one of the prophets. Joseph followed Moroni's instructions. In 1827, he went to a hill near his home. Buried in the hill was a stone box containing the Book of Mormon, written in an ancient language on gold plates. The stone also contained artifacts from the prophets who wrote the Book of Mormon. Because Joseph had no experience as a translator or with ancient languages, God had prepared one of the artifacts buried with the plates to help Joseph. Called interpreters, Joseph said that the artifact looked like two transparent stones set in a metal rim. Because they resembled eyeglasses, they were also sometimes called spectacles. Looking through the interpreters, Joseph was able to translate the record into English. He dictated the text to a nearby scribe, or secretary, who would write down his words. When Joseph didn't know how to pronounce a word he saw, he would spell it out, letter by letter. Witnesses to the translation stated that Joseph sometimes used what some called a seer stone to help him in the translation process. They explained that Joseph placed the stone into a hat to block out external light, looked into the stone, and dictated the translation to his scribes. Some people in Joseph Smith's day believed they could use seer stones to find lost objects, but translating an ancient text with a seer stone was unheard of. Indeed, the interpreters and seer stones were merely aids for Joseph. The real power to translate came from God. Several people served as scribe for Joseph during the translation, including his wife Emma and family friend Martin Harris. Most of the Book of Mormon was transcribed by Oliver Cowdery, a schoolteacher who learned about the Book of Mormon and sought out Joseph Smith. At first, translating the Book of Mormon went slowly. The Smiths faced attacks from mobs trying to steal the gold plates. To keep them safe, Joseph had to move the gold plates from one hiding place to another. On top of it all, Joseph had his family and farm to attend to. Nevertheless, Joseph persisted. By the end of June 1829, the Book of Mormon was translated. It ended up being over 500 pages long and historians estimate Joseph translated it in about 65 working days. Everyone involved with the translation of the Book of Mormon believed they had seen a miracle. Oliver Cowdery testified under oath that Joseph translated the Book of Mormon by divine authority. Emma Smith said she knew her husband couldn't have written it himself due to his lack of formal education. To his dying day, Joseph Smith never stopped proclaiming that he translated the Book of Mormon by the gift and power of God. Years later, Joseph Smith's friend Martin Harris was asked if he still believed that the Book of Mormon had been translated by the power of God. He said, Just as surely as the sun is shining on us, so surely do I know that the Book of Mormon was divinely translated. So, how did we get the Book of Mormon? Let's review. God called Joseph Smith to be his prophet. An angel named Moroni told Joseph where to find ancient metal plates that contained the Book of Mormon. And Joseph translated it by the gift and power of God. After first being translated into English, the Book of Mormon is now published in over 100 languages. The Book of Mormon teaches that God loves us, and He wants everyone, no matter what language they speak, to know Him and his son, Jesus Christ. Now you know.